Hello everyone, my name is Juan and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to show you how to solve radical equations. As the name suggests, well radical equations are just equations that contain radicals. I have never been a fan of radicals, but you tend to find them pretty much everywhere. So if you find one of these equations, you have to be prepared to actually solve them. And that's what this video is all about. The first example is the square root of 3x plus 1 is equal to 4. So if we want to solve for x here, we're just going to raise the entire expression to the power of 2. So this thing to the power of 2 and this thing to the power of 2. So this power will cancel out with this 2 here. And 4 to the power of 2 is 16. So if we clean this up a little bit, we end up with 3x plus 1 is equal to 16. And then we just solve it as a normal equation. For our second example, we have that equation. What we can do to make it look a little bit better is raise the entire expression to the power of 3. So if we raise this to the power of 3 and this to the power of 3, the this 3 will cancel out with the entire radical and the same thing is going to happen with this radical. So if we get rid of this two radicals, we end up with this expression. However, we still have one radical here. To solve for that x inside that radical, we just need to leave that radical alone. Now that the radical is just by itself, we can just do the same thing that we've been doing so far, raising this to the power of two and this to the power of two. So this would end up being four x, and that's equal to, before we continue, let's remember this. That the difference of two numbers squared is equal to the first number squared minus two times the first number times the second number plus the second number squared. So this would be the first number squared which is 9 minus two times the first number times the second number so 2 times 3 is 6 times x is x plus the second number squared so x squared. Finally we just solve for x in this quadratic expression. So here we just rearrange the expression and then we just factor it, so x minus because the sign of the second term is negative and x minus because the multiplication of a negative number times a positive number is a negative number. So we just need two numbers that added together are going to give us 10 and multiplied together are going to give us 9. And those numbers are 9 and 1. We got to make sure that those numbers are right. Minus 9 minus 1 is minus 10 and negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9. And finally, from these two factors, we know that x is equal to 9 and x is equal to 1. So that was it for this video. I really hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, then just give it a big thumbs up. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next week's video.